Hey friends, tonight we are going to be staying in one of the Walt Disney World tree houses. I am so excited. It is Christmas week. In fact, Christmas is just two days away. So I brought all my Christmas decorations and Christmas cards and we are going to decorate our Christmas tree in a tree house. How awesome is that? I am so excited to give you guys the grand tour, give you a look at the rooms and then also all of the resort amenities and have a nice little holiday staycation. Anywho, let's go do this a lot of people don't even know that there are tree houses that you can stay in here at the Walt Disney World Resort and this is actually in Saratoga Springs and they are absolutely beautiful one of my favorite places to actually stay and I can't wait to just show you all the cool things this is starting to be a little tradition for me. Last year I stayed at the Polynesian Bungalows on Christmas Eve and I brought all my Christmas decorations and I decorated the room and it was one of the best times or best moments in my life actually. And we're gonna do it again this year here at the Treehouse Villas. And I think it's kind of cool, like I said, to decorate a Christmas tree in a treehouse. So it's gonna be a fun evening and I'm so excited to share it with all of you. I love the fact that there are Christmas decorations on all the light poles here at the Treehouse Villas and it kind of just reminds me of staying at Fort Wilderness a little bit except for your room is actually in a tree like it's a tree house and it's so beautiful here tucked away in the nature LBV golf course is on the other side there and it's just so quiet and people actually even decorate kind of like Fort Wilderness they put lights up and they uh, go all out on their patios now let's actually go check out the tree house. I'll give you guys a little bit of a room tour and then we have to get all unpacked. We have to get our Christmas tree out of the car and get all settled in and ready for our holiday staycation. Right here is our tree house 7023 and we're actually right on the river so we can board a uh, boat taxi and it'll take us to the other resorts or Disney Springs. So that's really nifty and we're going to explore that a little bit later on but uh, let's head up there. I like that they actually do have like handicap accessible like uh, tree houses so like they do have ones that have ramps not just stairs because I'd love to bring my mom here and she would love to stay here and we'll just gonna give you guys you know the grand tour before we go into the room I want to show you guys the deck out here it is so beautiful and I love just being surrounded by nature right here are the steps to actually come up and then take a look at this nice deck isn't it nice got a nice uh, patio set with trees on them and then you just got this beautiful like scenery it is absolutely amazing oh I can hear the boats here we are look at this i love it in here and i can't wait to actually decorate it for christmas we're gonna hang up christmas lights look at the high high ceilings up there this is three bedrooms there are three bedrooms in this tree house and it is absolutely amazing i love all the furniture right over here you got the first bedroom and this one i think is the one with bunk beds oh yeah and then we've got another bedroom right here then we've got a washer and dryer right here. Oh yeah, another bathroom. I think there's two bathrooms. So three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Nice little kitchen area here. The TV, the living room. Look at all of the furniture. It is so nice. I love it here. And then the main bedroom. Might be a little bit dark. Let's see if we can flip the light on. There we go. I love it. It is so amazing in here. Like I said, look how high those ceilings are. And I love waking up and just looking out. Oh wow, you can actually see one of the buses for uh, Disney Springs right there. Not buses, the boats. Yeah, can you see it actually going? I love it. Oh, look at little Mickey. And then we've got the bathroom. A very, very nice bathroom. This is, this is nice. <laughs> Hello. Of course, with all staycations, we have to check out the fridge to make sure we got all the necessities. Perfect. Some Bud Light and French Vanilla Creamer. I think that's all we need. I'm going to dive into the other rooms and show you a lot of other things that I like. But uh, now I want to go grab the Christmas stuff out of the car in the tree. And we're going to do some decorating. I can't wait to turn this all festive and holiday-ish. 
And there we go. There's all my Christmas stuff. I got the good old tree right here. I got some lights and I've got all of your Christmas cards and uh, ornaments that you guys have sent me. So if you sent me a Christmas card or an ornament, as long as I got it before I checked in today, I brought it along with me and we're going to decorate the whole entire tree house with it. So it's kind of like you guys are here with me too. And I did this last time at the Polynesian Bungalow and I made sure to save everything. So I'm so excited. If you guys see something you sent me, like an ornament or a card, let me know in the comments. And uh, I think we have to put some Christmas music on. Well, here it is, another Christmas time. And I must agree with my grandchildren, it's just about the neatest time of the year. One of the nicest things about the holiday season is exchanging greetings with our many friends. For these messages from all over the world represent the true spirit of Christmas in many different ways. And once again, we put together another Christmas show for you. So let's turn back the calendar to the days when it all started. During the Christmas holidays or any other season here at Disneyland, Main Street USA is the happiest, busiest Main Street in the world. Hello, Walt. Well, hi, Santa. Is everything ready for a big Christmas parade? Everything but the weather. Yeah. Personally, I feel right at home in this snow, but it's not so good for a parade. And just like that, I think we are all done. Tons of cards and lights. I really like what I did with the place. It is really beautiful. And thank you guys. If any of you have sent me these cards or any ornaments on the tree, I know I'm not great at responding back like through messages and mail. Know that I really do care and I keep and cherish every single one of them. And look at they're all here with me. I mean, there's a lot of cards here. Like I have them on the other side too, but we'll give a quick pan through so in case you guys see any of yours. First, let's take a look at the Christmas tree. I think I did a good job this year. I mean, it looks really well and there's a lot of great ornaments on it. I think the lights mess with the camera a little bit so you might see like a blue tint in there. See, now it's right here, but I love it. Take a look at some of these. Look at this ornament right here. Somebody made me that and it's so beautiful. We got lots of Dalmatians and Gracies on here. You know, I love my Gracie tree. It's like a 101 Dalmatian tree actually. And there are so many great ornaments. Look at this one right here. How cool is that? It's like I got my own 50th statue right there. I love it. Thank you again, guys. These are all so amazing. And let me know in the comments if you see like your ornament on there. You know what I mean? It'd be nice to see a lot of it like acknowledged there. Look at this one. So beautiful. Oh, I dropped the big one. I'm gonna have to put that back. Now let's take a look at some of the cards we have here. And I kind of put them down here and there and all along here. I also bought two stockings, one for me and one for Gracie Girl. And speaking of Gracie Girl, look at this card right here. That is so awesome. Seriously, some of these are just so amazing and I love it. I love it so much. I tried putting some more on this side and then we got some more over here. I love it. I even used the bar stools too. So <laughs> I'm definitely trying to get as much as I could in there. And then we'll come along and I kept it going. <laughs> see, I put them on the back side so you can see them here. Just so many amazing cards and it makes me so happy. And then a couple over here. I'm gonna have to move these though when I make coffee in the morning. Maybe I'll put this right here. I like that little, oh look at the little Dalmatian, little greasy. So awesome. Also, I do want to say a big thank you to Kirsten, Jessica, John, and Fidget for actually giving me this day. They're the family that actually had a bunch of points left over that were going to expire uh, December 31st. Like, they actually expire, and then they go, like, they just disappear. Disney just gets rid of them. And I think that's such a sad thing. I feel bad for the families that lose all these, these points and everything like that because they can't make it down due to the circumstances that we're in. And I feel like Disney should let you hang on to them. Them, but uh, you know this is what was available and they booked it for me and asked if I would like to go stay and I, I was like yeah I would love to so I'm very honored that you guys thought of me and all of my staycations that people have given me DVC points that were about to expire I'm very honored I know that you know they could just go to waste and nobody could actually stay there or they could give them to maybe family members but if the you guys chose to actually give them to me I feel like super special like very grateful and very special and thank you so much 
Also, those are icicle lights up there, but I couldn't really get them to like attach only because I didn't want to use any glue or tape or any like nails or anything like that because this is in my house. So everything is kind of just put there so it can be taken away. I don't want to destroy, like I don't want to destroy or damage any of this fine woodwork here. I mean, it is very beautiful in here. Now I'm all switched out into my Christmas sweater. Got a little comfy, but we have to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. I love that we got to just kind of hang out or relax here. And I'm thinking maybe we can just grab a boat over to Disney Springs. The boat dock is right outside my house, like right outside my tree house. Speaking of fine woodwork, would you guys consider that a hidden Mickey? I love it. I think it's really cool. And also, all the lamps are actually wood too. I'm going to show you a couple of the other ones that are in the rooms. I just like the uh, furniture in here. It's like my favorite thing about staying here. But over in this side, yeah, in this bunk bed room right here, this is the stuff I really like. Like, take a look at this lamp right here. Isn't that so nifty? It's beautiful, isn't it? I turn it on. Ooh! Look at that. And then the bunk bed itself is like all wood. It's such a beautiful resort. If you guys want to see like a full, full tour, uh, I actually stayed here before and I'll put the link for that video in. That's a little more in-depth look. Today, it's just kind of about the holiday season, decorating and getting all warm and cozy. You know, that's what today is all about. But now I shut all the lights off and like I said, we're gonna go explore the resort a little bit. It got super dark out. I mean, it's getting dark at night here in Florida, uh, actually earlier and earlier. I think it's 6.30 now. I mean, it took a while to actually decorate and I was really comfy in there and stuff like that, but now it's like dark, dark out. So let's go mander down here. Look, we can look into our uh, treehouse from here. There's the bunk beds. I should have shut those lights off, but we're gonna come over here. We also have a little barbecue grill where you can cook out. And I cooked out here in my last video and it was so much fun. I made some Italian sausages and I loved it. And uh, I think the boat ramp is over here, like right next to us. Oh, and here comes a bus. They also have bus transportation, your own private bus transportation. Like this is like, I think only for the Treehouse Villas really in Saratoga Springs. So it takes you right to the parks or to Disney Springs. Right here is the Disney Springs launch right there. Oh, I think we missed the boat. There she goes. Goodbye. Oh, it's all decorated over here too. Look at that. It's got some garland and lights. I think we just wait here. The last time that I stayed here, the boats weren't operating. In fact, most of these resorts weren't even open. And I remember I came and I watched the sunset from this boat dock right here because it was just open. And during that time, it was like major shutdown time and everything was like a ghost town. And I remember just sitting out here and just being in awe. It was really amazing. They're playing Christmas music out here too. Oh, here comes a boat. This one might be ours. I like how dark it is out there and it's kind of just creeping in. I feel like we're going on a jungle cruise. It's kind of eerie out here. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I think we made it to Disney Springs. Look at the boathouse right there. I love seeing all the lights on the water. Usually they have two boat docks open at Disney Springs, but for tonight, they only have the marketplace. So we're gonna try to find something to eat over on the marketplace side. The other one's usually down by the hangar bar. And I don't know, I don't know many places that I actually usually eat over here. And look how close you are to Saratoga Springs. So if you wanted to actually walk uh, from Disney Springs to Saratoga Springs at your room, it's literally right there. I think I know where I wanna go eat. Earl of Sandwich, the world's greatest hot sandwich. I've never actually eaten there, I don't think. And uh, it's been something I want to do for a while and it's over here on the marketplace side. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, take a look at that. The carousel actually has Santa hats on all the horses. That is so priceless. 
Merry Christmas. I like your outfit, super bright. Yeah, thank you. Whoa, I want to ride the carousel now. <laughs> As I was admiring the carousel and the horses with their Santa hats, I realized I didn't bring a mask with me because you don't need a mask on the boat. And uh, I left my mask at the, uh, the tree house. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get a mask so I can go get some food and ride the carousel. There we go. Looks like they sell the mask for $1.49 at all the stores. So I grabbed a mask right here at the uh, pin trading store. $1.49. There we go. I don't normally wear a disposable mask, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Only because I like having the fancy design on the front, but these are definitely a little bit more breathable. I mean, plus you got that little strip right here where you can pinch down and, you know, stop your glasses from getting foggy. To ride the carousel, you actually have to get a token from this token machine. It's $3 for one token, $5 for two tokens, and then one token per rider. So, uh, yeah, we're going to grab a token and we're going to go for a little ride on the Disney Springs carousel. And it actually has pictures of Pleasure Island on there, and that's always my favorite. But I've never seen them with the Santa hats on the horses, so I really like that. And there's all the tokens. Look at that. Right, so I bought four tokens and then I gave away the other three tokens to the family behind me. So I bought their uh, ride on the carousel for them. Let's see which horse we're gonna pick. I think we're gonna take this guy right here. Oh yes, he looks very mighty. This one is like a rocking horse though. I wonder if I can do that one. Oh, I like it. I think I'm going on this one. <laughs> This one's the greatest. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I like how he's kind of looking back at me. And look at how cute the little Santa hats are. Oh, I should have worn mine. I love how it's like kind of two rides in one. Because I feel like it reminds me of one of those rides that used to be uh, outside of like a supermarket. Because it just kind of rocks back and forth. And then once the carousel starts, it's going to be even funner. And they're playing Christmas music as well. Also, I'm pretty sure I see a hidden Mickey right there, along with, it looks like the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> I mean, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? I don't know, but up here, you can see these are all Disney Springs, like, old shops. Right over there is the Marketplace, and some of it says Pleasure Island, so it makes it really, really cool. I didn't know there was a mirror right there, but you can kind of see me now. <laughs> Oh, I can feel, yeah, I can feel that fire too, right? You can feel the fire from here. Holy moly. Oh, we're taking off now. Wow. <laughs> Got to hold on to his little strap here. There we go, that's the one. Oh, wow. They're playing uh, Angela's favorite song. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Bum 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 bum, rum bum bum bum. I don't know why, but I just can't unsee Emperor's new groove. I don't know what that is, but I just can't unsee it. Careful. <laughs> 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 Seriously, that was such a great carousel ride. I really love it. I love how like the horses rock and then also just seeing all Disney Springs and the volcano going off that was a real like an awesome treat now I think we're gonna hop over here to Earl of Sandwich and get get ourselves a sandwich but look at the line it's going out the door maybe this is why I've never eaten here before like I don't know how long this goes like is it just like you order and then you get it immediately I guess we'll wait I mean we've already kind of decided that we were gonna try the world's greatest hot sandwich also, I wanted to talk about how long it takes for you to get with the, uh, from the boat to Disney Springs from the treehouse. It only took about 10 minutes, actually. Maybe like in between five and 10 minutes. I didn't actually like count the minutes, but that's pretty fast, you know what I mean? I bet you it's probably faster than the boat, I mean the bus transportation. Wow, I have never seen anything this busy before. It gives me high hopes that it's actually really delicious, like sandwich. I mean, it does advertise as the world's greatest sandwich, so it's got my interest, so we're waiting it out. 
Also, each Disney dining plan includes one entree, one side of dessert, and one beverage. I wonder if I can get that now, or if that was only with like the Disney dining plan. But that's interesting that's that, that like that's there right now. As busy as they are in there, it actually went pretty fast. And here it is, my Earl sandwich. I got a French dip, and I'm so excited. It comes with a little au jus, a little French dip, and uh, we're gonna try it. We're gonna dive in. I like the way that it's wrapped. It's like wrapped very nice. So, break, the, break this off a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh yeah. I'm gonna like this bread a lot. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and then we've got the uh, au jus for the dipping. I'm all about the au jus, and this bread looks perfect. Look how hot it is. Like, the au jus is hot. You can see the uh, steam just pouring out of there, but let's get dipping here. Oh, yeah. Look at those onions, too. First bite. <laughs> okay. That is good. I am a fan. I'm a fan of a roast sandwich now. Wow. The bread is what's the best part about it though. The roast beef and I like the thick cut onions too. This is a good sandwich. I don't know if it's the world's hot, like greatest hot sandwich, but this is a good French dip. It also cost, I think, $8.99. And I wouldn't say this is even a six inch like sandwich or a hoagie. I would say it was probably like like five inches maybe it's not like a foot long a five dollar foot long so you can see the christmas lights in my au jus i don't want to disturb them but every bite every bite gets a dip let me know in the comments what your go-to like sandwich is here at earl sandwich i can't wait to try some different ones but this french dip though it did good <laughs> Now that we've finished up our sandwiches over at Earl Sandwich, we're gonna go see what the crowds are like at World of Disney. It's only three more days till Christmas, and wow, it is busy down here at Disney Springs. Very congested, we got a bob and weave, bob and weave. But I wanna go in here, because I wanna see if they have the Castle Spirit jersey for my sister. I've been on the hunt for that Castle Spirit jersey for a while now. Every time I find out that it's here at Disney Springs, I come down and it's gone within a day. And it's actually gotten like put back out on the like shelves like I think twice already. So we'll see if it's here. Chances are probably no. They've got plenty of these Spirit jerseys. The uh, iridescent 50th anniversary ones. But these Spirit jerseys are not the Spirit jerseys we're looking for. Well, no jersey today. And I think we're gonna get out of here because it is, like I said, very, very busy in here. Definitely gotta be going in between the crowds here. Oh boy, but there's a party happening on the waterside stage. <laughs> Whoa, hi. I think we're gonna start making our way back over to the tree house. But first I wanna walk through Days of Christmas. This is one of my favorite stores, mainly because there's a bunch of Dalmatians actually inside as soon as you walk in the door. Look at that. Look at all those Dalmatians there. I wish I could bring Gracie in here to have a little photo session. She'd love it. I'd have her sit right there next to the fireplace. I love it, it's so cute though. I'm trying to look at the faces and see if any of them look like her. This one kind of does a little bit. That one does a lot. Let's see, right here. I can see it. Oh yeah, definitely. This one looks identical to Gracie. Could definitely see it in her face, don't you think? Oh yeah, 100%. Right next to the Days of Christmas store, they have the art of Disney. And I wanna show you something that I would love to have one day, but probably is a little bit out of my price range. Ooh, the fire. Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> Just like that little girl on the carousel. She's like, I can feel it. I said, I can feel it too. Right here is the Art of Disney store like I was talking about. And they have, like I said, pretty amazing pieces in here. 
take a look at this amazing piece right here. This is a letter from Walt Disney and it says, Dear Mr. Hodgins, thank you very much for your letter of welcome. I appreciate hearing from you and the other members of the National Cartoonist Society in the Orlando area. Thanks to all of you for your thoughtfulness. Sincerely, Walt Disney. Isn't that so cool? Guess how much this is going for right now? $14,000. No annual pass discounts allowed, but I would love to get that just because it's a signed document from Walt Disney about Orlando, technically, and I think that's just so amazing. They also have another one down here that's for $14,000 too, and this actually has a lot of amazing signatures on it. Actually, I would want this one instead. Look at this, Walter E. Disney. They have uh, Royal Clark. They have the Irvine, Diane Miller. This is amazing right here. Honestly, this is a really cool one. I, I, would, I think I would take this one instead for 14000 Yep, that's the one. This is something else that I really love, and it's a poison apple figurine here. And take a look at this, $80. I love it. And what I would love to do, it's only $80? One thing I would absolutely love to own, the apple that's down at the Lakeland Antique Mall that was in Snow White's Scary Adventures, and actually replace that apple with this. That would be amazing. But out of all of these amazing things, including Walt Disney's autograph on two different documents, you'd be shocked at what the most expensive item is in this store. And I'm gonna show you it right here in a second. I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds. It's kind of in the general view here, so you can guess maybe what's the most expensive item. It's this Lion King picture right here. You wouldn't be so shocked. Wait till I tell you how much this is. We'll get you a little scroll down here. $35,000, $35,000 for this. I mean, it is gorgeous, but you can buy three Walt Disney autographs for that price. I mean, the frame alone is probably worth a couple thousand, I feel like. I mean, this is really beautiful, but I think I would take Walt Disney's autograph. Okay, back to the boat though. <laughs> Looks like we got a boat right here right now, so we're gonna have to hurry up. I don't know which way we're going though. This says Disney Saratoga Springs, and this one says Port Orleans and French Quarter District. I think we're going this way. Yeah, Saratoga Springs right here, blue flag boat. Gotta find the blue flag boat. I really do love the Christmas music on the boats though. Really, it really makes me feel a little bit more happier. I also appreciate the Mickey light vest instructions. Mickey knows the way, safety first. Oh, looks like we're going under a bridge. This is really fancy. Now we made it back to the tree houses and I was thinking about actually going around and maybe checking out the pool area, but it's 50 degrees out. So I don't think we're gonna be going swimming anytime soon, especially in the cold weather. I don't know why I feel that way because like back in Pennsylvania, I remember I used to go swimming in like 50s and 60 degree weather, but for some reason the cold hits different in Florida. I think it has to do with the humidity or just the air in general. And uh, yeah, now I guess we're just gonna go back into the tree house, but look, all the lights are lit up. Isn't that kind of cute? They're on the uh, lamp post. You can see another one right there. And right here is our tree house. Literally right next to the boat dock too. So it's very, very convenient. I had to immediately plug in all the lights because they're just so pretty. I want to shut off all the lights and then see what it looks like with the just the uh, Christmas lights on. Kind of make it nice and homey, you know? Oh, I love it so much. I love multicolored lights. They're just so beautiful. And look at it. I love it. <laughs> I kind of want to keep my house decorated all year round. I say that every year. And I haven't even decorated my house yet. I, I just kind of brought all this stuff here. And I'm going to just take it out of here. And then start decorating my house. 
The reason I haven't started decorating my own house is because I wanted to wait for my mom and sister. They're coming down the first week of January. So I was like, well, we're gonna celebrate Christmas when we get down there. I thought about going home to see them like on Christmas day, but it's driving 16 hours. And if they're coming down like next week after Christmas, I figured I would just wait and I got all their presents. I'm gonna wrap them. I'm gonna set up the Christmas tree and we're just gonna celebrate Christmas in January. I think that'll be fun it'll be my mom's birthday too so then it will be celebrating her birthday and Christmas and then we'll be celebrating my birthday because it was before Christmas and it'll just be fun so I figured instead of you know decorating everything at the house I'd wait decorate here and then once I get it home I'm gonna set it all up for when they come down now I'm gonna try to figure out which room I'm gonna actually sleep in tonight like I'm half tempted to actually sleep in one of the bunk beds because I think it would be so fun I mean, like, seriously. I mean, the mattresses probably aren't as comfortable, though. Let's see what the bottom bunk's like here. Oh, yeah, they're not comfortable at all, really. Ooh, and we got a nice little nightlight here. Oh, I like that. I am not too sure I would like sleeping on the bunk bed. Like, this mattress is, like, very, very tiny. Well, it's for kids, you know? But I think it'd be fun. I don't know. I like the wood post. Something funny I just realized about the bunk bed. You can actually maybe order this exact bunk bed from the company because it's actually Old Hickory Furniture Company in Shelbyville, Indianapolis. And it actually has a manufacturing date and a model number. So I bet you you can actually just buy one of these if you ever wanted to. I mean, it's a nice bunk bed. Look at this. This is the ladder. Get up. Very sturdy too. Well, it's got a little squeak to it. Can you hear it? Who am I kidding though? I'm probably just gonna stay in the master bedroom. I mean, the bed is huge and I love the ceilings and you kind of have that beautiful like window display where you're not seeing anything but the woods. This one on the other side, you actually see like all the cars and stuff like this. This view from the master or from the main bedroom is like just all nature. And trust me, when you wake up in the morning, you definitely want to have like a beautiful view. It always puts you in a good mood. You know what I mean? You're laying down right here and the sun starts coming in and it's just so miraculous. Now I think I'm gonna actually just go to bed, lay down, maybe watch some TV before I hit the sack and just enjoy sitting out here with the Christmas tree and the Christmas lights. I don't know, I'm just very happy. Makes me feel nice and cozy being here. And I just love it. And getting to see all these cards and all the ornaments. And it just makes me feel so thankful and grateful for all of you guys. Because honestly, you guys set all this. I remember there was a time in my life where I never even got a Christmas card. I don't think anyone ever sent me a Christmas card. Now I get a Christmas card. And like I really do cherish them. I even have last year's Christmas card still. And I just kind of like... I don't know. I, well, I do like to keep things around and stuff like that. So I do hold things, yeah, you know, inanimate objects, like very close to my, you know, heart. And uh, yeah, I'm just so grateful, you know. And with that, I think we are done here for the night. Time to go to bed. I'm so excited to sleep in this comfy bed because it is a very nice bed. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be doing it for us. I'm not going to be able to do a morning vlog for tomorrow. Um, so we're probably just going to call it a night here. But I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to be here. It was so nice to decorate the room, go around to Disney Springs, try Earl's Sandwich. I wish it was a little bit warmer out because I would have definitely went swimming. It would have been nice. They have a nice, very good, quiet pool over on the... Uh, the same area here in the loop of the tree houses and like i said if you want to see like a full tour of all of the tree house amenities then i'm going to put the link from my video when i first stayed here in the description i basically spent the whole entire time just going here showing you all the cool rooms and all the different spots around the resort and of course a beautiful sunset sunset and uh yeah so once again thank you to Kirsten, uh, John, Jessica, and Fidget for the points to stay here. And I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I enjoyed making it. We'll see you later. Good night.